Supreme Court justices here in Washington have to decide if the state's newest tax is legal. The justices heard arguments today over the constitutionality of the state's capital gains tax. In 2021, the governor enacted the new tax to provide funding for schools. The tax impacts people making more than $250,000 on stock market investments and is paid when investments are sold for profit. Critics sued the state, calling it an income tax, which is unconstitutional here in the state of Washington. But the state says it's an excise tax on a specific transaction and would provide hundreds of millions of dollars for students. A person can own limitless stocks or bonds, can hold them for years, they can increase dramatically in value, and the person owes no tax that whole time. It is only when they sell the assets, when they sell the stocks or bonds, that they owe the tax. And that is why this is so clearly an excise tax. Capital gains tax is not an excise tax. It's an income tax. Every taxing authority in our nation, from the IRS on down, treats taxes on capital gains as income taxes because capital gains are income. That's former State Attorney General Rob McKenna representing critics of the capital gains tax.